Hi, I'm Hans Johansson. This is a video to older entrepreneurs out there um, regarding the coronavirus and the fact that we see so much now being shut down, uh, supply chains disrupted. So we entrepreneurs, I'm an entrepreneur myself, we uh, need to step up and do what we can now to mitigate this. And also there are, of course, how tragic it is, there are also opportunities in this crisis that can be seized upon. And the things I want to talk about is, one is the fact that the supply chain will be disrupted and especially not only new things, but also the things that are use the disposable parts of uh, machinery, the disposable plastic little things in a hospital for an operation, the tubes and everything will stop now. You know, the ships that were supposed to go in February and March from China with all these things that are going to be used in June and July, they're not going. So this supply chain disruption will be huge and there will be a word for this, you know, we're sh China short of things and, and all that. So. You know, I have made a different video I just made where I urge all hospitals and workshops and everywhere to start storing things, used stuff where the protocol is to throw it away, uh, but start storing it instead in the basement of whatever facility you have, because we will need to start refurbishing things this summer. So there will be a whole refurbishing industry we will look for spare parts and there will be like ads online and people will have videos online. Oh, I have this machine so-and-so and we're missing just that tube from going so-and-so to try to look for spare parts and find used parts and refurbish them. And especially like for the medical industry, how do you make a good protocol for uh, sterilizing used stuff that always used to be thrown away and new stuff gotten, there will be a protocol for that and maybe packaging it in plastic and boiling it or whatever way you can do to refurbish things and also other things, mechanical parts and, and all that. So that's just one obvious thing. Then of course also look at the supply chain of everything and everyone now going forward will be interested in having like a backup on their supply chain. So. There will be a huge demand for like backup. You know, the, it is a good rule of thumb. I'm, I have a business degree myself and a good rule of thumb would be that you have 80% from one supplier and 20% from a different supplier. So you can have some flexibility in case one of them uh, goes out. The problem now with so many companies and so many industries have dependent themselves 100% on supply from China, 100%. It's the pressure of the market has just turned it that way. And so many will want to go back to an 80, 20, 70, 30, whatever. So a lot of the factories and a lot of the manufacturing facilities in Europe and in the United States that have been shut down during the last 10, 20 years, will have an opportunity to start operation again and just operating on that 20%, that 30% as like a backup. And if that manufacturing facility is still there, the machinery might still be there, the employees might still be there, you know, look them up, talk to them. How do you, how did we produce this? How did we do this thing? Where's the machine now? Can we replicate this? And this is for everything. Imagine everything out in society that now all of a sudden wants to have a more secure production and delivery supply chain to, to diversify. So there's so many opportunities there. Another obvious opportunity is that I see now that all kinds of events are being shut down because of the risk of contagion. And that's probably smart. I always, every year, go to the uh, Mobile World Congress in Barcelona in February. That was all shut down. And that's when I realized that this is just going to propagate through the world and everything's going to be just shut down. So one obvious opportunity, if you are the manager and leader of some kind of physical event with a gathering that needs to be shut down, you can make a digital, instead of just shutting it down, that's the end of it, you can make some kind of digital 
representation of that meeting. You can have a video conference, you can put out videos, you can make sure that, you know, okay, we have to stay each our own place. We cannot uh, converge, we cannot congress to, to meet and talk about this, but we can still, because so many people have prepared, so many people have presentations, their schedule, everything. So at least for the time being, for this year, 2020, when so much is planned out and to try to try to do the event, even though you can't actually gather. So that's an opportunity. And there's an opportunity for everyone who can facilitate that kind of stuff. I mean, if you are a, uh, a producer of video conferencing equipment, for example, this could be a boom time because that's what everyone is going to need. So these are some of the opportunities. And of course, in extension of that, anything that's based on physical meeting, physically meeting each other, if you can replicate that into a digital meeting of each other, that's a huge opportunity. And this, I mean, this is everything. Piano lessons, uh, mechanics, repairs, everything. I mean, it's going to be a boom of online video stuff. And I believe that, uh, you know, society and we should really, as long as the internet infrastructure and the video infrastructure, the YouTube infrastructure is uh, held up, that can mitigate a lot of this uh, trouble. Because if you need someone to come to your house, you would do before to fix something, you can get guidance to fix it yourself on video. So that's a huge, uh, huge opportunity as well that will come. And I mean, it's so sad that YouTube is shutting down so many channels now, because if we get the new kind of society now where people have to stay much more at home and much less traveling and much less social interaction, it seems like it will be like that. We need those videos to learn stuff and to talk freely among each other and the fact that YouTube has started shutting down so many channels and topics is really really sad. I hope YouTube will come out and, and, and change their policy and be more sort of so, so people don't have to be afraid of what kind of material they're putting out so we can have a free discourse to to mitigate this uh, tragic disaster that is the uh, corona uh, virus. The, COVID-19 virus. So these are just some of the opportunities. This is just the tip of the iceberg because uh, like really high perspective kind of looking at the opportunities. Down in the details of all this, there are m thousands of new business opportunities and ideas that uh, could be pursued in, in the wake of this. And I hope some of the entrepreneurs out there will, will do that to mitigate the crisis. Thank you.